will. Psychology works. And if, if there was a Muslim psychologist like no other, it's Imam Ghazali. I give you one selection, you know, from the Bidayatul Hidayah. From, he starts off by speaking about organizing your day, the hours of your day. He says you should not have anything that is, you, 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 sh- you should make sure that every moment of yours is accounted for. And all your activities are murattab and organized according to your timetable. And you should never... Uh, you, 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 should, you should never overcome that time and do something else in that time. You should keep it as particular as possible. And then he says, وَبِهِ تَظْهَرُ بَرَكَةُ الْأَوْقَاتِ That is how you get barakah in time. Many of us are struggling with barakah in time and blessing in time. Our days just fly by. Our days just pass and we don't get anything accomplished. So he tells us that if you have your day organized, where you do everything in its allotted time, and he says, this is what he then says, he says, don't be like animals who do things as they come, كَيْفَ مَتَّفَقْ Right, as they come along, they do it. So this comes along, okay, let me take care of this, oh, that looks green, let's go there, that, that looks nice and fancy, let's, let's do that. Have a time for everything. And then after that, on another dis- uh, in another discussion, he says, that you should always strive to, do, to be doing good and never to be doing bad. Right? So you should always be a person of benefit and not a person of harm or inconvenience to others. And then he says in the midst of that discussion, he says that, look, if you can't help it, because there's going to be a lot of people and, you know, when you've dealt with a lot of people, they, they, they come and the excuse is, you know, I can't help it. I just can't help talking to him. I can't help talking to her. I can't help bothering him. I can't help lying. I can't help, uh, you know, cheating. So he says, look, if you can't help it, if that's what you say, so he's preempting your thoughts. That's why I call him a great psychologist. So he says that if you can't help it, then go to sleep. He says, why? Because sleep is a neutral state. Neither do you benefit and neither will you harm anybody. It's a neutral state. Now, again, look at where his mind is. Where his mind is. There's going to be many people even now thinking, man, that's a good fatwa. <laughs> right? I'll go to sleep. So then he suddenly says, he says, but then sleep is the sister of death. And what good is there in life in which so much part of it is death? So then he jerks you back to reality. So essentially, coming back with the argument that the only way is to be good and not to do anything bad. Because even sleep is not a good idea. I just find him that he just talks to your heart. He just gets right to the bottom of things. He doesn't beat around the bush. He keeps it, gives it straight.